Good afternoon! Today we have a super fun adventure planned and it's all starting with the Target parking lot. Da -da -da. <laughs> Exciting, right? Uh, so I actually bought this super cute, super, super cute. It's pink, it's polka dot, it's a storage bin, and I wanted to use it to put some of my cosplay stuff in to kind of make more room and organize because Junior is actually going to be moving with me in a couple months. So I was trying to make things a little easier, but the storage bin doesn't work. It doesn't close. I don't know why. One side closes, the other side just flops around. So I was going to return it here at Target. <laughs> and I thought I'd bring you guys with me because it's so much fun, right? All right, so let's go return this. So this is the little flippy floppy that doesn't work, but I won't bore you guys with it. Yeah. So we're going right now. Okay. All right, it's returned. It was quick. It was easy. And now for the actual fun stuff. Now we are going to get in the car. <laughs> you guys got in the car with me. And we're going to go to downtown Disney and we're going to get a treat because I have wanted to go to Black Tap for probably about two years now. They have some crazy, crazy, whoops, <laughs> hit my little keychain. Junior has the other half. It's super cute. Can you see it? It says, you hold the key to my heart. Anyways, we're going to Black Tap. They have these crazy, crazy milkshakes. They do have vegan option shakes too. So vegan ice cream and whipped cream and all that stuff. But I've wanted to go here for the last two years and I haven't gotten a chance to do it. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go get some milkshakes. Let's go. situation so I was wondering how that was gonna work okay got my ticket all right where 
are we gonna park? Where are we gonna park? Let's see. Do we think, thank you. Do we think that Simba is a good parking area? I think so. We're gonna park where these people are leaving in 5C, Simba. All right, I'm all parked, I'm ready, I'm going in. Uh, they recently changed the mask rule, so if you are vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. I'm bringing mine just in case there's any issues or massive crowds for whatever reason. But we're going in. So the queue line to get into downtown Disney has definitely changed since the last time I came here. They're not doing temperature checks anymore. Just kind of walking through this little area. But you do still have to go through baggage check, which is right over there. So, a little easier. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy to be a duck. He's a duck! Hey there! Hello, Donna! Alright, and we are at Black Tap with their crazy shakes. There is a small line to get in. We're going to go ahead and get in this line. And I can't wait to try the shakes. strawberry ice cream.
got the lactose free cream. Lactose intolerant. <laughs> You do have to dig pretty deep to get down to the ice cream, it seems like. Alright, here's some of the ice cream. So good. Okay, I got the vegan strawberry ice cream. So it is dairy free. And it's really good. <laughs> you guys there is a lot of ice cream that comes in this it started about right here and it goes oh I dropped a ball <laughs> and it goes all the way down I've gotten to about right here and I am already done it's so much sugar it's really good though don't forget to get your ticket validated Okay, so we are all done inside. I came outside to find a quiet place because there's a lot of screaming babies inside. Uh, but all in all, I give it an A+. Plus. I loved it. The fried pickles were honestly my favorite fried pickles I've ever had. They were warm, they were crunchy, they weren't too oily. They had a very nice tangy, pickly dill taste to them and I just, I loved it. They were incredible. Uh, those were nine dollars, and with your legacy pass, you do get a discount. So we'll get that. And then I got the not sure what it was called, but it was the cotton candy crazy shake of some sort. They were seventeen dollars. You can also use your legacy pass, and I loved it. It was really good. I got the vegan ice cream. It did have strawberry ice cream in it. And on top was a lactose-free whipped cream with cotton candy, had some lollipops, some rock candy, and it was covered in gumballs all around. I wanted that one as my first one because I didn't know how filling they would be, and that one has less things in it. If you've seen any of the menus, there are some with cakes and extra ice cream bars and just tons of candy and so forth. So this one seemed like it had less in it and that was technically my breakfast. <laughs> so I didn't want to go overboard with the sugar. But it was really good. The ice cream was a little bit melted and I'm not a huge fan of melted ice cream. But I do know it's a shake so it's gonna be a little okay. bit melted. But it was really good. The strawberry ice cream tasted very fresh, it wasn't too sweet, it tasted like there was actual pieces of strawberry in it, it was really good. And I ate maybe half of it, there was so much, so much ice cream, definitely worth it. I would definitely go back and get another one. Different flavor of course, got to try them all, but I definitely approve. Now we are going to go to the Disney store down that way and I want to check out those little new Nemo's. Nemo's. I don't know how to say it. We're going to ask a cast member. But it's their cute new little plushies. And in Japanese, it means plush model. So we're going to go check those out. I'm excited. Let's go. I did forget to mention that I only waited about 10 minutes in line. So the line wasn't very bad. And 
it's about 3.30 right now and there's still not very many people around. It's still pretty empty. World of Disney Store, we are here. They drive all the traffic into one lane. Every time I've been here, there has been a huge line, but it doesn't look like there's anybody in line right now. So three o'clock might be the time to come. I'm loving the old retro Disneyland look. This is another exit. They wrap you all the way around to the other end of the store. We're almost there. It's a really big store. These little guys. These are the little guys we're going to go inside and look at. Small friends, big style. That, that's the word. Numos? Nemos? <laughs> We're gonna find out. Too cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at Mickey go. Go Mickey, go! Oh, is he taking, oh he's taking her a flower! <laughs> so cute! Too cute! <laughs> You go, Mickey. All right, we are inside, and I'm definitely liking their whole little style they have going on right now. It's very 90s. It's very retro, bright colors. This is really cute sweater. This is $49.99. They've got the sweats. They don't feel too soft. I thought they were going to be a lot softer. These are $44.99. I do like this a lot. It's like a crop sweater. These ones are $40. I like this. Mannequins over here wearing the shirt that I like. They look great. They've even got the jean style, so they've got the leggings that are like jeans, and they got the little jean jacket, and this is really cute. I like this a lot, and these ones are $69.99. We have a whole stitch section over here. Stay weird. It's cute. It's $36.99. Got the little notebooks. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm trying to keep it together, but if you feel it, the stitch is actually coming out of the book. Very cool. They also have a whole pet section. I love my Disney cat. These are just little frames. And then they also have dog things. So more Disney, more dogs. I'm a dog person and it just has all the different dogs from the movies. Duck. They have pants. These are soft. These are very soft. And these ones are $39.99. They have bags. Here are the cats. The Disney cats. We got Lucifer and Chesh. These caught my eye. I love the look of these. And this right here, this little platter is really cool. These ones are $50. That's not bad. I really love all the kitchen type of things that they have here. We got our pride collection. Ooh, a new backpack. This one's cute. These ones are $75. They've got ears, a couple shirts. They have the mini backpacks. I do like the bigger one more because the big one, 
has the stripe. This one doesn't have the stripe. It just has it on the stitching. All right, I found the Corella area. So they have all the different clothes from the movie or inspired from the movie. And this dress is $59.99. So it's a dress with like a, a sheer top in the middle. They have these pretty cool biker hats. Biker hats. $34.99, that's actually not bad. It's pretty cool. But what caught my eye over here, out of all of it, is the doggo. <laughs> I have the doggo and he's got the eye patch. It's Wink. Hey Wink. <laughs> Super cute. They also have the other dog as well. But I thought the Wink was funny because he's got the eye patch. We found the section. Nemo's, Nimo's. I asked a couple cast members and all of them said they don't know. They don't know how to say it. So we're just gonna go with Nimo's. If any of you know how to say it, let me know in the comments below with like a pronunciation type of thing. But this is what it is. You got different little clothes. It's like a Build-A-Bear, but Disney characters. You got Daisy, you got Donald, you got Minnie and Mickey. And all of them are $20. $20 for the plush, then you gotta buy the, the clothing. Over here we got Stitch. I don't remember her name. I'm sorry you guys, I'm failing. It doesn't say. Okay, Stitch's girlfriend. And on the other side, it looks like they're the same thing. So I think we should build one. Okay, in the little side sections, they have a few more outfits and it is Star Wars. They have uh, Woody. Is this Oogie Boogie? Oh, this is Oogie Boogie. I like this one. They've got the Queen of Hearts. They've got Alice. My world, my rules. summertime they also have things like little floaty uh, flamingos they have umbrellas they've got little clothes visors they have a little bit of everything over here okay so since we're here I feel like we have to do this and because this is the first one I feel like we have to do somebody that's it makes sense so I'm debating between Minnie and Mickey but I kind of want to do Mickey because it's Mickey so we're gonna go with Mickey. We're gonna get a Mickey today. So again, he's $19.99. And I really liked that Oogie Boogie outfit. So we're gonna put him in an Oogie Boogie. I don't think you're allowed to dress them in the store, so we're gonna dress them in the car. But we're gonna get this. And we're gonna get the Oogie Boogie. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, this is in line, and I might say this might be my favorite backpack I've ever seen at Disney. So I'm just gonna take a look at it. These ones are 75, and it's got all of the little snacks, and it's got Minnie and Mickey on there, and I might have to keep this for later. It's super cute. to have to wait until we got to the car. So I thought I'd do it out here. Uh, the last cast member I decided to ask, she said it was a Nemo. But still, if you guys know the answer, let me know down below. We're gonna pull off this little pack. All right, we got Oogie Boogie. And these were $17.99. All in all, it was with my membership discount, it was $36.83. Too bad for the two. Two. <laughs> she gave me a bunch of 
magnet because I'm a legacy member, house holder. So.